Well, this is SK Ghosh. I would like to welcome you to our web seminar, as uh, Maria said, <clears throat> Significant Changes in ASC 722. She, she said it's a multi-part seminar. And that is because I, I do not recall as many substantive changes being made between two editions of ASC 7 as have been made this time around. Uh, having spent a lot of time to figure out how best to uh, present to you a comprehensive overview, I have come to the conclusion that it will take us 10 parts uh, we will uh, not make any part longer than an hour and a half. There will probably be a couple that will be just an hour, but uh, we thought that would be the best way, again, to present to you a comprehensive overview of the changes. Uh, obviously, if all your work is in, uh, let's say, New Mexico or Arizona, and you have no uh, interest in snow design, then you probably will skip the, the part on snow. But if you want an overview of the whole thing, yeah, it, it, will, be, it will be in 10 parts. Today in part one, we will try to cover chapters one through five. Chapter one of AC7 is simply titled General. That has uh, pretty significant requirements in it. Chapter two is a very important chapter on design load combinations. Then dead loads and soil loads are in chapter three. Live loads are chapter four and flood loads at chapter five. So that's our agenda for today. And uh, you, you can imagine that with all those chapters, our time would be pretty uh, full. This I think is quite important. ACE 722 will be adopted by the 2024 IBC. Uh, when I say will be, it is a done deal. 24 IBC will be published in the fall of this year, only a, I, I don't know, three, four months from now. Uh, so, so this is something that you can depend on. And uh, just to give you an idea uh, of adoption by local jurisdictions, uh, 24 IBC will be will go into effect in the state of California on January 1 of 2026. So it will be in the, it will be the basis of the 2025 California building code effective at the beginning of January 2026. So all of that tells you that you will not have to design using AC 722 for a couple of years yet. At the same time, the changes are, are, are so many and so big that uh, this is probably a good time to start uh, getting familiar with them. So this is, this is why we, we have taken a lot of time to bring these seminars to you at this particular time. Uh, one piece of good news, I would say, <clears throat> the uh, the, the first part is nothing new. All the environmental loads given by AC7, whether it is snow or uh, <clears throat> earthquake design parameters or, or design wind speed, all of that we now get from the AC7 hazard tool. That was the case with AC 716. That will be the case even to a larger extent with AC 722. The good news is that 
until the last time we had to pay for the hazard tool now it is free it comes with ac 722 so hazard tool is where we go for uh, the environmental loads and related parameters.